Welcome to Dee's Cabbies and Vinci's Toys. Today we're going to bring it back to basics. We're going to be uh, covering some head molds. We're actually going to do head mold um, from one to six. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Stick around. Welcome back. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about head molds a little bit today. What, what was so uh, unique about the Cabbage Patch Kids when they first came, you know, when they first hit the mass market um, back in the 80s was, you know, of course the birth certificates. Um, but what really, really made them stand out was that they were so unique. There were different head molds. Um, the whole, you know, um, they were actually promoted as no two kids are exactly alike, and, and they're not. Um, even if you find a head mold um, and a hairstyle that's similar, uh, you know, the eye color might be different, the clothes, the outfit will be different. So that's what's really neat uh, about um, collecting Cabbage Patch Kids is that there's so many to collect and there's so much to learn about. So um, the first... Uh, the early head molds were, um, the first were one through four, but we're actually going to cover one through six. Those are the earliest um, of the head molds, and we're going to start off with number one. So this is the number one head mold. This is my Bryson. I love him. He is a uh, first year cabbie. He actually came out the first year. He's a wee, uh, wee color hair fuzzy boy. The texture of his hair is so cool. Fuzzy boys are my absolute favorite. I love them so much. They're so different. Um, as far as Coleco went, they only made uh, fuzzy boys for the first year, so they're a little they're a little sought after, a little harder to find. Um, and this guy, like I said, he was the first year. He's got the number one head mold. And how you find the head molds on these? Um, just a little FYI, you look at the back of their um, of their neck. And it will say, um, you know, some of them are a little different, but it'll say manufactured by Coleco. And then right underneath on the bottom, it'll say number one. So um, he's a number one. He's a, um, they, they call this, I think, the happy face. He's smiling and he's, you know, of course, he's got his open arms like they all do. But number one is really a neat, I, it's one of my favorite ones because they're, they're just so, they just look happy. And that's, that's what this whole thing is all about, you know. You see him and, and you feel happy. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> okay, so the next one I'm going to talk about is the number two. The number two, um, they have a little nickname for them too. They, um, I don't remember what it is, but the number two is a little different. They've got the two dimples um, on the sides of the mouth, longer nose. Um, this little guy is really special because um, for one he was a gift to me from my friend Carly and what she didn't know when she sent him to me was that um, I don't have any of my childhood Cabbage Patch Kids and um, she did not know this it was just really really co big coincidence um, when I opened up the box that day he was in there he is very very similar obviously not the exact same but he's very similar to my very first Cabbage Patch Kid and I named him uh, Daniel James so when I named this little guy I named him DJ so he's kinda like a Daniel James Jr. but um, he's special he's uh, he's so cute I'm gonna say that about every single one because I just love them all but he's this is your number two head mold and when I saw him I remembered I remembered my first one I, I could just see it same color eyes everything so the next one I'm gonna talk about is a number three now the number three head mold has um, the round pudgy face like um, kind of like the one similar to the one except they have a little dimple right here and this girl is really neat because um, she's also a first year. She has the brown signature um, on her bottom, um, and that indicates the first year. And usually the brown signature with no date indicates that they're first year. Um, she has freckles. Um, she's my only uh, 
African American Cabbage Patch Kid with freckles. So she's really, really special to me. She's so cute, and she's another. She's got another, you know, that happy thing going on. <laughs> I swear they're smiling at me. <laughs> but she's a sweetie. And her pink coat, and they just did such a good job with everything. The outfits, um, everything is amazing. Their hair, their hairstyles, they had different hairstyles. Really neat. So this is the number three. The number four is one of my favorites. This is a number four passy face. So there's, um, you know, during the Coleco times, there was two passy pants. <laughs> Let's say it again. <laughs> there were two passy faces um, during the Coleco years. So this was the first one that came out. This was the number four. This girl is so sweet. She is a poodle girl. This hairstyle is called a poodle. Um, and so she's a number four, and she's got violet eyes. She's she's perfect. She's so cute. I and I love this dress. This is one of my favorite dresses for the girls. Um, you can usually tell when they're early, you know, the earlier years too, by the clothing. Um, this is definitely an early year dress, and she's got her little purple tights and. But so the um the number four passy they have I'm actually gonna take the passy out so that you can see. Let me have this little lady. Okay, if I can get it there you go. I'll give it back. So <laughs> so she has um the two dimples. Um, when I show you the other passy face, you're gonna see the difference. But she's just even without the passy, she's so cute. She's smiling. <laughs> So that's our number four. Here's your passy back. Okay, so the next one is one of my favorites. Oh, there are, I think, 30 plus head molds. And um, this is one of my all-time favorites. They call it the first tooth. But it's actually a number five. And I love this little guy. He's got the shaggy hair. The lem lemon. They call this color lemon. Um... And his blue eyes and his little tooth, his little tooth. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Again, happy. Very happy. His arms open. <laughs> but this is one of my favorites. So he also has um, the two dimples. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the number four, except for instead of, you know, the passy, he's got the little tooth right there. But this is, this is adorable. It reminds me of a little, you know, little toddler running around with the first little tooth in their mouth. Little one-year-old. Adorable. <laughs> so this is my Marina. I love Marina. Marina has been with me for a while. She is so cute. Oh my goodness. Her outfit, um, everything about her is just beautiful. I, I put the headband in her hair. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I think it fits her. She's a sassy little one. <laughs> So she's the uh, Lemon Loop um, number six passy face. This is the other passy face that I was talking about. So what's different about her is she her face is chubbier, which is so cute. And she, um, she actually only has the one dimple instead of one on each side. She has one over here. Um, and she's a blue-eyed. <laughs> She just reminds me of a little, a little sassy mama. <laughs> I'll take the um, passive fryer out too and show you. So this is what she looks like without the passy in her mouth. She's adorable. She's one of my all-time favorite kids. I post her a lot in the groups. There you go, lady. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this was awesome. I really hope that you learned something. You know, for, I did this for um, for everybody, obviously, but for new collectors because I know when I first came into the community, there were a lot of things that I wanted to know. So um, there's, I'm going to be doing more videos like this, um, some informational videos that hopefully you know will still be fun and exciting. I hope that you guys liked it. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.